can you talk about awakening, staying awake, being awake, and how this relates to the person and how it relates to this? Much love, Dennis of Kentucky. Um, yes, I can talk about that. So waking up does affect the person because it's the end of the seeking. So before everything is more important so your pleasures getting your pleasure is more important and avoiding pain is more important so it relaxes the dynamics and then i think it gives the opportunity for the person to change more easily they're less identified there's less well there's no ident or there's less seeking to maintain an identity so it's less important the identity that you present to other people or present to yourself so there is more openness for changing. So that's how I think it affects the person. Um, awakening. <coughs> so awakening is an energetic shift to me. There is many things that can happen prior to that energetic shift, like many mini awakenings. There can be intellectual seeings, there can be intellectual understanding of this subject, and all of those I would call awakenings. But the, to me, what I'm describing as awakening is an energetic shift. It's not something we can talk about, it's not intellectual. It's a movement from being identified with that person to being identified with what's happening with, with space. So there is this movement, this shift. So in the before, the person and consciousness were who you are, and then it sort of shifts around. The person is in the background, and the person is more of a functioning, and who you are is this moment, is what's happening is everything, is life, or love, or is the unknown, is mystery, is um, radical presence, it's knowing presence beyond the person. Um, staying awake. So awakening from, awakening can happen for no reason and all different types of possible reasons. From my experience was that what happened in the Lisa character was there was a deep surrender. There was many, many years of searching, and then there was a deep surrender and a letting go. Um, from <clears throat> in, I lived with my teacher prior to it. I don't think it's because I lived with him that um, it's not that the awakening happened. That the letting go happened. Like I think it's some like it's. In one way, it's something that spontaneously happens and is totally unknowable. But my sense is, is, is that in time, what happened in the story was the Lisa character like deeply surrendered, became deeply cornered, and in a way, had nothing left to live for. That sounds really awful, um, but not in a negative way. In she just like did no, no longer believe that anything in life would free her but this moment and it was so strong and um, and I'm sure living with Roger Castillo who a lot of you know had an effect on that because he was so rigid and saying it all the time so just such a deep surrender that happened and also he helped me with the psychology of my character as well um, but I'm also conscious that for some people that's not the case and some people just have these awakenings for other reasons yeah and then also we can go in and say that there is no awakening who awakens like everything I've told you is a story that's outside of this moment staying awake again staying awake is a story like who would stay awake who is dreaming about staying awake Um, the reason I think that there is going back into seeking or the story is because there is a belief again that something in the life will, life will either take away your freedom or give you your freedom. So sometimes I have what I call old seeking patterns acting out. So old, something might happen and there's um, an old seeking pattern that comes up of what I used to avoid or go to. 
Um, I don't know if that would be called like going back to sleep or not, or I don't even care. It's just what appears. And then sometimes it can just be the pure pain of something that's happened. There's no, like no seeking pattern in it. It's just the pure pain of being human sometimes and being alive or the pure ecstasy of it. And being awake. I think being awake is what's wanted, what's always looked for. However, I don't think that our society is currently prepared for lots of people waking up, even though I'm like, come on, bring it on. Like being like the few that wake up in the society, I think um, can be a difficult karma as well, because um, you still have to live in society. You can't really go off and live in the middle of nowhere and survive, you kind of have to, I mean, even if you lived in the middle of nowhere, the government would still come on like, taxes, please. (laughs) You can't really escape it. And I think the society, there's many great things about our society, but it's, it's um, based in separation and seeking and those ideas and lack, I think as well.